This is our 1915 20 AL candlestick phone working with a magic jack. So go ahead, Jensen. Let's call the house phone. Hello? Can you hear me? Alright. You sound good. Alright, bye. Okay, so to place an outgoing call uh, without a dial, uh, we have to go through an operator phone like they did in 1915. So this is our operator phone over here. Uh, so go ahead and go off hook. So as soon as it goes off hook, it'll ring this phone. So we'll go ahead and answer the intercom. Okay, then we can transfer. Hi, Jensen. I have Noah on the other line. I'm transferring him now. Just hang up the phone, and now you two should be connected. Can you talk? Hey, are you there? I can hear you. All right, bye. And that's how you place an outgoing call, pretty much just like they did in 1915. I also wanted to take this opportunity uh, to show you uh, what's inside the box and uh, everything that's required uh, to make a phone like this work. So these uh, old original boxes um, had magnetos inside of them uh, that you'd actually crank the handle um, and it would generate electricity. So uh, there's really no way to make, make any of that work uh, with, with today's technology. So basically I replaced what was inside of this box, the magneto, uh, with what's known as a 685A subset. So this is a subset, uh, this part here, <clears throat> for uh, a newer model uh, rigger box um, that'll work with, with modern modern phone lines. So I, I basically chopped it up, cut it up, and was able to uh, use a Dremel to trim this piece. Uh, I was able to use the original uh, clapper rod, um, kind of soldered that. Uh, in, into the hole of the original, so I was a little worried that, that the original clapper rod uh, is much heavier uh, than what came with this subset. I was worried that it wouldn't ring properly. Uh, however, it rings great. So with this setup, uh, I'm able to ring the actual <clears throat> the actual bells on the box. Uh, in the past, I've seen people put just put a subset inside this box, but uh, it, it's much cooler to be able to to be able to ring the bells. So um, so here is the magic jack uh, that provides uh, external dial tone and the real trick to making all of these old phones, rotary phones, uh, antique phones work is using one of these. This is a Panasonic uh, 824 PBX phone system. Um, you can also use the 303 and the 606. However, I went with the 824 because it has uh, a USB port and all the programming can be done uh, via the computer. Um, the programming is, is really simple. Uh, they actually work just fine for rotary phones right out of the box. So basically with this PBX system it'll support pulse dialing. Uh, that's one thing Magic Jack doesn't support. They only support tone dialing. Um, and it also generates enough electricity uh, to ring the bells and ring mechanical uh, riggers. So the toughest part of, the, of setting this up is uh, the internal wiring required. So with one of these PBX systems, every handset needs a home run or a dedicated line uh, between the phone system and the handset. So uh, I know newer houses are sometimes wired that way. The house I'm in is not. Uh, however, it did use a single cable uh, that loops around all of the jacks. However, it probably has 10 pairs in here, so I was basically able to just split out pairs uh, from the cable that loops around the house, uh, and that, that saved a lot of time.